Oh, I, a great question. I understand. Thank you so much for explaining that in a much uh, 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 a simpler term for me. But here's, here's the thing. Uh, I don't, I'm a very greedy person. Let me explain to you in a good way. Greed is not a good thing, but in this, I want you to be greedy. I don't believe... Have you ever met somebody who is so filthy wealthy, so rich, but they're overweight like crazy? Their health is not good. Have you ever also met somebody who have a six-pack, nice calf, but they just don't have relationship, good relationship with anybody? Have you met somebody who's physically very fit, financially very fit, but their relationship with the family is very bad? Have you known somebody who's a family man, great father, great mother, but they broke like hell? I don't believe that you should have one thing and lack of other. I think that you should have all. I think your life should be connected into five, six dots. Your family, your health, your personal development, your finance, your business income slash career, and your relationship with people. All those are connected. It, it, it's, if you do bad in one area, most likely you'll do bad on another area. So I'm gonna answer your question. For example, if you are overweight, 50 pounds right now, for example, all right? Now again, I'm not judging people the way you look. If you're happy, do it. But I'm talking about physically, you're not feeling well. How could you be able to go out at 10 o'clock in the evening like what I'm doing? Because you can't, physically can't. It's gonna affect your business or not. If your business not doing well and you're spending all the time out of away from your family, you never go home, but you still cannot provide for your family and kids that will mess up your relationship with your partner. If you argue with your partner all the time, every single time, every single weekend, because of money and all that stuff, how are you gonna have a good relationship with your son? Because your son sees all that. So I believe all those are all connected. So how do you do all that? That's the question, right? It's about your ability. The, court, the key is that somebody said the word discipline. Well said. You gotta have discipline to work out five times a, a, a week if that's what you want to do. I mean, people say, I don't have time to work out. I don't believe it. You have time to do other things. You can squeeze about an hour to walk, to run, to lift weight, to do yoga, to do whatever you enjoy doing. One hour a day. I'd rather you do one hour workout every single day for the rest of your life than do 10 hours workout for a week and you never do it anymore. That takes discipline. I'd rather you make 50 phone calls every single day, Monday through Saturday, they're making 500 calls for the first two days and you stop. That takes discipline and consistency, right? I'd rather you having a communication with your son for those who have kids. Your kid doesn't need you every single day, my friend. How many of you have kids? When your kids need you, they need you. Every day, spend 10 minutes with your kids alone. How's your school? Listen to them. Don't just like lecture them. Listen to them. Find out what they want, what bothers them. If every day you speak 10 to 15 minutes alone with them, every single day, that is much better than you do one powerful dynamic lecture session with your son or daughter for two hours and you never do it for the rest of the week. Making money, saving money is the same. If you can learn how to save $500 every single month consecutive for the next 12 months, you save $6,000. Then next year, you can bump it up to 1000 a month. That's 12000 Five years down the road, you get to a level where you're making money, and now you can save $15,000 every single month. At the end of the year, you'll be saving like $200,000. That's how it works. Discipline is a little bit by little bit. What in each of the dots I share with you, what do you do in each? What is, what is your call to action on every dot I share with you to improve on that area? You don't have to do a lot. Exercise 45 minutes every day. That's call to action. Relationship with my kids. I want to speak with my son. When I pick them up at school, I put my phone aside while I'm driving my son. For 30 minutes or 20 minutes, no phone. I lock it up, nobody looking for him. I want to just talk to him. Call to action, right? Every single month, I'm going to make four sales because that will make me 10,000 a month. Four sales require me to uh, uh, at least do 20 appointments because out of 20 appointments, if I'm closing 20%, that's about probably four sales. You see, all this little thing is called call to action. When you do all that, this dot will become connected. Once it's connected, you have everything you're looking for. Not saying that you're perfect. Everybody's not perfect, okay? But you're gonna be very well-rounded in life. 
You know what I'm saying? You have, you can have everything. See, I today I, I do a lot of stuff. It's because I know all those things are connected, and I have discipline, call to action on every single thing that I do. It's a little bit, little bit, and then they bump it up, they bump it up, they bump it up. You know. So that's my answer. I hope I answered the question. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.